All right, friends, this is it. This is my full review of the Asus RAW Chakram. This is a $160 mouse. That's a tall order, but um, it has some cool features. It's rechargeable, it features USB-C on the front, and has a lot of lights. But its hallmark feature is the joystick. So I'll spend some time walking you through the mouse, what I like, what I dislike, and then it's up to you to make a decision or not. I can tell you that right now, as of recording December 4th, it is on sale on Amazon for under $140. So that helps kind of a little bit, um, but still it's an expensive mouse at a time when uh, there's not a lot of disposable income going around. So here we go. Okay, so uh, a quick tour of what you get in the box. You get two different lighting plates. So this one has the Asus ROG logo on it, the emblem. And then when you replace the, take off the back plate, you just pop this out. This is a blank one that's also white. Put this one in. Come on, baby. You gotta line it up perfectly, which is really hard to do when you're making a video. Pop back in. So it's, this is magnetic on the top, but it clips in at the bottom, so you gotta get it at the right angle. And now you have your Chakram logo right here. I don't know if it's the Chakram logo or the ROG logo, I'm not sure, but you, you got a logo, which is pretty cool. All right, scroll wheel at the top. Get an idea of what it sounds like. See the lighting? This is the spectrum lighting mode. You do have the option to customize the lighting, and you can also click the mouse in for an additional press. Another button activity, primary keys, and get a sense of travel. And that's all you get uh, on the top. Now on the side, you have two additional buttons. They're more dull than the top ones. You can tell from the sound. Listen closely. Okay. And then the hallmark feature is this joystick. Uh, hallmark in my opinion. It's different than other mice and I like it. It actually has a really cool function in Excel. A commenter in YouTube actually pointed out to me that you can use this in Excel. I tested it out and certainly if you move in the cardinal directions, what well, now this is omnidirectional first of all, but if you move it in the cardinal directions, then it will actually uh, move the selected cell up so or, or it'll just move it right so you can go up or down left or right all right I don't know why that was so hard for me to explain uh, but it's a very very cool feature I like that and it is also replaceable inside the box another thing you get is this cool chakram or rog I think it's rog I'm just gonna go with rog the rog branded container inside of it has this nice sort of mesh feel and then there's another joystick that you can replace it with if you want something that is of a different size. You can get an idea of the sizes here. Gosh, it looked really similar. Um, and then also uh, you, have, um, you have you have different uh, buttons too, or different clickers, clickers. Okay. All right. And they make it easy for you. Oh gosh, they don't make it easy for you to put all this stuff back. Um, but they give you this. They include this. Here. So you can open up the back, pull out the clickers. There you go. I don't know why I'm saying clickers. This isn't half life. Okay. Also included in the box USB transmitter. And then this one, you'll notice, is USB C, just like the front of the mouse. USB C. I mean, that is awesome. Most mice don't do this. In fact, I can't think of one that does. Pretty much every rechargeable mouse right now is still on micro USB. Okay, so yeah, USB-C. The purpose of this is that if you want to bring the, the transmitter closer to your desk, closer to your mouse, you can do it here. Oh, this is the wrong one, sorry. This is for Razer. All right, well, I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> I'll bring it up and I'll bring it up uh, later, make sure I find it before I uh, send this thing back. But anyway, uh, well, hey, cat's out of the bag. I'm, I'm sending it back. Okay, now the reason I'm sending it back, I guess I'll just dump into it since I made the mistake of saying that. Uh, the reason I'm returning it is that I have repetitive stress challenges in my wrist. So for me, an ergonomic mouse is better for day-to-day -day tasks. And something that I talked about in another video is that I think this Razer ProClick mouse, which is an ergonomic mouse, it was made by both Razer and a company called Human Scale, even though it's geared towards desk desktop use, it's for work, Right, it's just for being on your computer, it's not for gaming. It's totally fine for gaming. If you're not a competitive gamer, and I say that only because I'm not a competitive gamer, so I don't know what it's like to be a competitive gamer, 
But um, for someone who just plays games casually, this is an awesome all-around mouse, and it's $99. And I bought this mouse with my own money, I'm keeping it, and because of my wrist issues, and the fact that it works just fine for me when I play PC games, I see no reason to switch to this $160 mouse even though this is a cool mouse. So let me give you a few more specs, and if hopefully these specs are relatable to you, and if they're not, then you're like me, and you have to do some research to understand what it all means. So this mouse is um, 1.9 by 5.2 by 3 inches, okay, generally speaking. It's four, meaning it depends sort of on uh, your scale, but for the most part, <laughs> if you eyeball it, you're gonna be somewhere around there. So let's say two by five by three. It's four and a half ounces, okay, and it's considered gamer grade. So it uses something called a PixArt3335 sensor with 16,000 DPI. And it's up accurate up to 400 inches per second. Now what I said earlier about does this stuff matter to you? You know, do you recognize these specs? For me, you know, doing a review of a mouse is almost like doing a review of a monitor. You know, I don't really, there's so much going on and some of it is, a good part of it is subjective as well. It's not like a laptop. With a laptop, you can plug it in, you can fire up Witcher 3, and then you can be like, all right, well, this laptop versus that laptop, here's how they performed. But with mice and monitors, speakers even to a degree for me, knowing the differences is very subjective. So let's talk that use case one more time. I spend eight hours a day working and maybe 30 minutes a day playing video games. It, it, it changes. Some days I might get a full hour, maybe it's the weekend or something, I'll play more. As a consequence, um, spending $160 on a mouse is really unfeasible to me. It doesn't make a lot of sense, especially if that mouse is not comfortable for work. This does have that joystick, so I'll give them that. There is a slight use case there, but you're going to find it a little bit annoying. I'll give you an example. So if you want to use this mouse for work, and you can get over the angle, put it again next to this mouse, if you can get over that angle for your wrist, it's not bothering you, and you start doing your work, blah, 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 off you go, you're gonna come up against a couple of challenges. One is the battery life. Um, the battery life on this mouse, um, it's about two to three days, which is not horrible, honestly. And with USB-C, it does charge very quickly. It also supports Qi wireless charging. So it's not the worst thing in the world. You just plug it in and charge it overnight. But um, it doesn't come with a wireless charger. The competing Razer mouse, the Basilisk Pro, or no, sorry, the Basilisk Ultimate, or even the, the Viper Ultimate, both come with docks, so you just rest them on the dock and then they charge. So it's very, it makes sense. And the, and the battery life on those mice is even worse than this, but I'll tell you, you can do your daily session and then put it on the mount and charge it. And that's not a horrible way to go. And you could pair something like that with a work mouse if you want to spend the extra money. This is your work mouse, and then when you're ready, you grab your Razer docked mouse off its dock and you start playing. It's not a horrible use case. But, um, one of those challenges is the battery life. The other one is this nub. So while the nub can be justifiable for business use or for office use because of the Excel application, this is not, it's not a great way to go for long-term use. And I suppose it could vary based on the type of Excel use that you do, but it, it does, it's not, it, to me, it's like just move over and click. You know what I mean? Like it's great that you have this option, but it doesn't, it's, not like, it's not a game changer. This is not like the greatest new feature for office use. Okay, I hope I didn't beat that up too much. That wasn't my intent. There's no script here, so I'm just kind of telling you what I think. Uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting is, and this is going to be completely subjective. So when I put my hand on this mouse, and I'm not thinking about it, look at my position. Hopefully this comes through. Let me try to get some more light in here. There we go. So if you see where my thumb is relative to the two side buttons, if I want to do forward or back, I can. It's right there. But if I want to go forward and grab that joystick and then use it, I'm now stretching my hand that the ligaments in my thumb have to go had to be stretched in order for me to grab this and then start to use it. I hope that translated well. It's kind of hard to explain. But as a result, I felt that long-term use of the nub didn't really make sense. Okay, but for gaming, um, the precision you can get from this, I'm sure is awesome. I am not a competitive gamer. I found no application for it in the games that I play. I mostly play uh, First-person shooters, non-competitively, so think Doom, and I play RPGs, Witcher, which is, for me, better with a, with a controller, and then I'm now playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, to me, better with a controller. So, yeah, hopefully you can find someone else's review that put more time into the gaming section of this. 
but since most of my time is spent doing work, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to find an application that could take advantage of this nub, a gaming application that is. Okay, so having said all of that, it's not a mouse I can recommend for $160. It's a lot of money at 130 40 140 bucks or so on Amazon today, still a lot of money. I would actually recommend that you run out and get a Razer mouse at $100 or less. Um, I'm sure there's other brands that are good too. I haven't tested them, you know, thinking of Corsair, for example. So yeah, I'll be returning this mouse and hopefully you found this helpful. If you have specific questions, let me know. I, like I said, I'm returning it, so I won't be able to do another review for you. But, uh, you know, I can at least tell you what I think. So that's the Asus ROG Chakram gaming mouse. Um, yeah, hope this helps. Thanks a lot for watching and catch you on the next one. Bye.